Hello and welcome to a new edition of True Audio Files. This is Jim Carter. Today I am going to do a sound quality shootout and basically it's going to be for Lee Morgan's The Sidewinder and the reason why I'm doing this is because Blue Note just released a classic vinyl series edition of it which is this right here and I wanted to get a sense for what it sounded like compared to uh, what I have already, which I actually have a first pressing of it from, I think it was 1964, whatever year it came out. But, uh, and I thought it sounded very, very good. So I wanted to see how they compared just because most of the Blue Note reissues that have been done have been nothing short of spectacular. And I, and I don't have a lot of the most recent reissues as original early first or first pressing uh, versions of them. So I wanted to do it with this one because it's one of my favorite jazz records. So I played both of them through. I will have to, I will say in all fairness though, I only checked out uh, Gary's notebook to do a comparison just because I could, so I could do a quick A, B back and forth, back and forth without having to listen to the whole sides of the album. But I also will mention one of my disappointments was on the on the new classic vinyl series one, there is a, a pretty bad pressing error on the first side where I've got a noticeable like staticky noise happening maybe 10 or 15 times on the left channel throughout the entire side of, uh, of side one. So part of the other reason why I went with Gary's Notebook on side two. And actually at the beginning of side two, there was a decent amount of a whooshing type of a noise on side two as well. So I'm gonna to try to clean it again a little bit more thoroughly um, with my four step process that I use instead of the typical one step process that I use for new records and maybe play it a couple times through to see if that gets those noises out. Uh, I'm not optimistic, but one can hope. So I played the, like I said, I played the classic vinyl series version all the way through on both sides. And besides the pressing issue that I was talking about, the one thing I did notice is I thought it sounded great. You know, there was decent separation of the instruments. There was a decent warmth to the sound. And I, I thought overall it sounded good. And there were, it was pressed on pretty quiet vinyl overall besides the pressing issues I've mentioned. And I just thought it did overall sound very good. Then I put on the first press. And the first press, my first press isn't in perfect condition. It's definitely got a little bit of noise to it. And I think uh, I also probably want to run that through my four-step process. I think I may have, but I want to try to do it again just to see if I can get some more of the noise out. But uh, it's mainly only noisy during the quiet sections of between tracks. So it's not too bad. But the one thing I noticed, especially on Gary's Notebook, because that's the only track that I really did a quick, uh, I, I'm sorry, a in detail a b comparison to is that although maybe not quite as warm sounding as the reissue it still had a decent amount of punch to the bass i actually you know if i had to make a complaint about the sound of the the reissue in terms of the bass response and the warmth to it is it came off a little bit boomy but that could just be my system as well so and I usually really like a lot of bass, so my preference typically is for a little bit more bass, So, and the reissue definitely had that. Uh, having said that, the other difference that I did notice is the original definitely had a more 3D, more space sound to it, more definition between the, the instruments, better separation of the instruments, like especially on the beginning well, throughout the whole track, but basically, you know, there's a uh, ride symbol, I believe it is, on the far right side, and then I believe it's the saxophone on on the right side as well, and then the trumpet on the left. And one thing that I really noticed more so on the original is that you could definitely get a better sense of space between the cymbal and the saxophone, and the saxophone seemed to be a hair more left and oh, I'm sorry hair more right and in front of the symbol as opposed to the symbol being you know closer together on the sound seem to be closer together on the reissue and the symbol also seemed to be a hair more in inward and a little deeper 
on the reissue. I'm sorry, on the on the original, then on the reissue. It's very, very subtle, though. It's not something that's really easily picked up. And the other thing that I did notice, and it might just be because the bass may have been masking it a little bit, is the echo or reverb, especially on the saxophone. When I was listening to the saxophone at the first part of the song, I noticed the, the reverb a little bit better on the original in comparison to the reissue. And when I went back and listened to the reissue again, I def I noticed it more when I was listening for it more. But I, you know, I, it was one of those things that I just kind of picked up on the original one and that I it was just more noticeable to me on the on the original compared to the reissue. But it's definitely there on the reissue. It just it seems to be buried a little bit more. And uh, the other thing too is the definition between the bass guitar or upright bass and the and the piano too. They seem to be uh, a better delineation between the two. You could really sense that difference between them and get a better separation on on them. And again, that might be the bass. I don't know, but I did notice that it was very subtle. And so it's one of those things where what do you want? What do you want to give up? <laughs> you know, you want to. You want to get that warmth and the better bass response out of the reissue, or do you want to get the what seems to be my impression of a better separation of the instrumentation, a more three D, more air, if you will, sound to uh, the the recording than the reissue. And again, it just might be because of that that bass response, but that was my take. So, bottom line. I think if you can get yourself a good quality copy of the uh, reissue, which I'm I'm very surprised about because it's actually pressed at Optimal, and I've never had a bad record come from Optimal, or rarely had a, a record this bad come from Optimal, so it was kind of disappointing. Uh, so I'm hoping I can get a, a better copy. I know that some people have been pretty happy with theirs, but I have heard of complaints similar to mine on this reissue, and the other... The other one that got the McCoy Tyner, the real McCoy uh, classic vinyl series, sounded flawless, sounded great. So this one was the only one that kind of had the issue. So I was a little disappointed. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that I can get a better copy of it. Because I do like the bass better on it in terms of the, you know, the, the better bass, or more bass, I should say. Even though the original definitely has a good deep bass to it as well. But... I have to give a slight edge to the original just because of that separation that I'm hearing. If I can get the combination of the more bass and the the better separation, I would have a winner here. But, you know, I guess it's all a question of what your preferences are. You know, if you're wanting a kind of a more warm sounding recording or if you're looking for that better separation. So that's my take on the two on Sidewinder Classic whoops, <laughs> classic vinyl series and the original. So both sound great. I think you'd be happy with the reissue. It's going to be significantly cheaper than the original because I think the original is in the $60, $70 range and probably more if you get one in a really good condition. And, you know, the, the reissue is, you know, 25 to 30 bucks. So I don't think you can go wrong, especially if you can grab one. I, I know that there's a a little bit of a shortage, but I'm, I'm going to guess they're going to repress them. So, But that's my take. You know, I, I want to know if what you guys think. You know, Have you compared the original pressing to the reissue? And what's your thoughts on it? I know I've, I've seen a couple of videos out there. I know one that I've seen that where they preferred the, ori the new one compared to the original. But uh, I'd love to get your take. If you could make some comments in the comments section, that would be awesome. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And when you want to know when my new videos come out, hit that alert bell so you know when my video comes out every, every month or every week. <laughs> every month. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Have a happy new year and have a great day.